Good evening, folks. Boda Bob here. Hey, it's wet outside, and I'm inside doing a little bit of uh, maintenance on my uh, Wolfridge 28 Pro log splitter. So when I purchased this, I called up the distributor in Pennsylvania, said, hey, I want a log splitter. So what are you looking for? I told him what I was looking for. He said, well, I got one with an electric starter on it. The uh, customer um, changed his mind since the uh, pandemic hit and didn't think he wanted to go into uh, debt at that time by purchasing a log splitter. So I said, great. Um, he said, now it's got the uh, electric start. Not, I didn't want the electric start, but hey, I like it. So what are we going to do tonight? Well, I have one of these battery tenders for my uh, Kubota tractor. And man, it really seems to have helped the life of my uh, battery on that tractor. I went to have, have you checked the prices of batteries lately? Make them batteries last as long as you can. Get a battery tender, get a battery maintainer, and uh, if you have more than one equipment, look at the deluxe model that can charge more than one thing or that can maintain more than one piece of equipment at a time. So like if you have a, uh, a golf cart or one of those utility side-by-sides or maybe you got a, uh, a quad bike or a motorcycle tractor, whatever you got, snowblower, um, one of these things, one of these battery maintainers might just help you save some money in the long run. To uh, use the battery tender, we're going to install, I forget what it's called, but anyhow, it, it, it's an adapter to go onto the battery. And then you just plug the battery tender into that connector right there and let it charge. Plug the battery tender in, let it do its thing. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So, looks like we got an interstate battery. Six month free replacement, lawn garden battery. SP35 375 Pro cranking amps and the top needs cleaned. So looks like it's just a standard lead acid battery, which is what my main concern was. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, take it over here and clean it up. It's just a matter of wiping it down. All right. According to the instructions, you're supposed to spray this on the outside. This is battery cleaner, acid in indicator. The acid indicator will tell you if there's acid outside of the battery. Now one thing you don't want to do is spray it into the battery. So it detects leaks and neutralizes acid. Shake can well. Spray liberally over the battery surface and all corroded areas. Do not spray into the battery cell if any acid is present. Foam will turn pink. Allow the CRC battery cleaner and acid indicator to soak for a few minutes. Use a wire brush on heavily corroded, heavily deposits and terminals or protectors. Flush with water. Reapply to ensure acid has been removed. Wipe dry. Okay. So I finished cleaning the battery, washed it off, dried it with the compressor, then wiped it down with a shop towel. And now we're going to put it back together. So we're going to, once we have it back together, the uh, CRC battery terminal protector, which is supposed to prevent corrosion, we'll apply that. It says to put it, to do it while it's in the uh, vehicle with the uh, wires connected. That's what we're going to do. The uh, battery box has like little vents here. And we're just going to go ahead and have the end of that come out one of those. I'm going to call it a vent. It's a gap. 
and uh, that's what I'm going to do, have it come out right here. That's the plan. We'll see how it works. All right, it's nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and apply the corrosion protection. Let's plug it in. Well, I was curious about what the condition of the battery was, so I went ahead and plugged it into the battery tender. And I plugged the battery tender into the uh, extension cord, and I've got a solid red charging light. Now, when I use this on my Kubota, it'll, um, when I first plug it in, it'll turn green. Let's show you how it works. So when you first plug it in, it tells you, plugs it, it turns green. Then it'll go red. And now you see it's blinking green. And when it blinks green, that means your battery is at 80%. So there, it brought it up to um, 80% because it was solid. You didn't see it's been plugged in for about five minutes and uh, it was solid red for about five minutes. So the battery wasn't in great shape there. But this battery um, maintainer, it'll help um, keep the battery running good for a long time. Solid green, that means it's just monitoring the charge. So right now it's doing a slow charge from 80% to full. Once it gets full, that'll turn green. So I'm going to go ahead, finish buttoning this thing up. Well, this is the final results. I got it running across the floor here. It's my sand bucket. Right to the battery tender. And as you can see, it's got a full charge. It took about 15 minutes to bring it up to a full charge. So with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. Till next time, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend. And enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.